Hello everybody. Welcome to Informatica support videos. I am Ravi Kant Singh from MDM RE support team. As part of this demo, we will be creating a basic IR system using a trigger based synchronization. So agenda for the day. We will be going through prerequisite to run this demo. We will be creating a system using SDF wizard. We will be running the UPD sync process and we will be checking the data, how it flows from source side table to target side tables. So without wasting any more further time, let's straight away run into demo. So as you can see, I have Informatica IR 9.5 HF1 installed over here. I have license server up and running. I have IR server up and running. And I have source side database here, target side database here. At source side database, I have supporting tables. I have cust data, very basic structure. That's our source side table, which we will be importing into an IR system. Very basic data structure over here. We got unique column, name, date of birth, address, and around 2000 records over here. Let's bring up console. Enter target user ID password. Start creating a new system. And we will be creating the SDF using SDF wizard. Very first step to create SDF is to create a system. Let's call it DB read with a sync process. So DB read sync. Select data type as Oracle. That's what I have. Finish. First step is we'll be creating identity table. So give it a table name, IDT001. And its data source is at from database. So synchronization. There are a couple of options we can do. I want to do reject duplicate PK. Give a user ID for source side schema from where we want to bring up this IDT table. Need to select all the columns into a IDT table. So select the IDT, select all the columns, add to IDT fields. I need to assign a primary key for identity table. Next couple of options you can try here you can skip few rows or you can put a where clause if you want to restrict the source site data so now that I have identity table ready we will be creating an index on this table give it a name design is smart indexes I'm selecting my population on which uh, what is the data type I want to use. Uh, I'm using person name. Key level keeping it standard. And I want to select the column on which I'll be creating the keys. Now let's go ahead and define a search. Give it a proper name. Keeping the search with typical search field is index field. That's our name column. For matching, select the purpose. I'm using person name. Select the fields which are associated for these columns which are defined in the purpose. 
and this part one goes to address date goes to date of birth and finish so I have system as defined now I'll save the system and system is ready to be imported on IR console so I'll give it a system name this should be same as what you are defined in your SDF give SDF file name give user ID and password for our target schema system is being created here so now that our system creation is successful let's select it and perform load IDT so load IDT is a process which captures data from the source in this particular case cust data table and loads our target site tables it also creates a trigger now this trigger is actually used in our synchronization process which push data into IDS VPD sync transaction table on which we have a polar which is running and looking for new records which will be in turn processed and pushed into IDT and IDX table at the target site at the, this particular point of time I have only one control record this control record is must for IR operation so I have completed my load IDT process our system is ready to be used we can use search client and let's go ahead and run the synchronizer as I mentioned synchronizer is a process which pulls for new records in the UPD sync table at your source site I'm keeping the default values for duty cycle and commit rate so now we have our synchronizer up and running with synchronizer up and running let's analyze the data we have at the target site so this is a table uh, exact replica of source site data you can see you got around 4.5 k rows I'm sorry 2.5 k rows at the source site which is same which is actually same as source site so let's go ahead and create a source side record so this is a new record so this is a new record which is being inserted in source give it a name date of birth I'm sorry address first ID try to give some unique ID here data birth column here commit to database system complaints about data birth being too long will reduce the width system complaints about primary key violation so let's give a very large value for ID column commit commit has been successful as you can see we inserted a new record in your UPD sync table UPD sync transaction table this table is being pulled by UPD sync process which is running in the background now that this record is gone I expect that it's being processed from synchronizer and the data is now available in my target schema so I'll go ahead and check that apply a filter over here try to identify a record which must have flown in
So we have this record which we inserted into source site by virtue of UPT sync being running. We have this data available in our IET. And uh, just to prove that it is available in our index table, I'll be performing a search on this data. Rudy Perkins search. And we get this record back. So system has synchronized data from source to target. They are two different schemas. Need not be in same database. They could be different database altogether. Complete process is seamless. And quite robust in a way that it can process pretty fast for all incoming records. So with this, we are at the end of our video. We would love to hear back from you. These are two channels which you can send back your responses. And with this information, I would like to say goodbye.